Hey, what's up, everybody? Doby Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create the spinning pinwheel or the sunburst effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is what we're gonna be creating right here is this sort of spinning background. Looks really neat, sort of a comical, almost like you'd see it in a superhero or comic book. And you can do a lot of neat things in front of it. Uh, it's a great thing to use to transition and it's pretty easy to create because I'm gonna be giving you some of the assets to create it. Also, you can move around the the, um, the center point so that whenever it spins, for example, we can have it spin on the low side down here, or on the left, the top right, anywhere that you want. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. So let's get started. This effect is pretty easy to pull off. Uh, first, what you're gonna wanna do is in the link or in the description below, I have a link to download this asset right here. And this is basically just a pre-built pinwheel for your background. And this one is, I think, 4,000 by 4,000, so it should fit anything up to 4K, and it should work pretty well. And you can zoom this in a ton, like for example, this is a 1080p composition, and you see that we're only scaled into 27, which means we can get it to fill this entire thing with just up to 52, and then we can zoom it in as far as we want, up to about 100, 105, before it even starts pixelating on the edges here. So this will give you a lot of wiggle room, and you can use it in, like I said, up to probably 4K. So we're gonna go ahead and just take this, and all we have to do is just make sure that it fills the entire screen here. And then once it fills the entire screen, you'll notice that whenever we rotate it, it fits the entire screen, and that's just because it's a square. So that means once we get everything filled in, it doesn't matter about when we rotate it that an edge might be missing or anything. It's a square, so it's going to fill whatever we see. So now what we can do is we can just very quickly animate this. So if we go ahead and we go into the rotation, so we go up to effect controls, down to rotation, make sure that we're selected on this artboard. Let's make this a little bit bigger over here. And let's just move forward, I don't know, maybe like five seconds or so, six seconds. And then we just increase the rotation here. So we'll go like say one time around and then just have it play back. And there you go, you have the pinwheel already ready to go. Now, to change up the coloring of the pinwheel, it's very simple. Just go into Effects, search for the effect Tint under Video Effects Color Correction, drag that onto the artboard, and you'll see that we have Map Black to and Map White to. Choose whichever one you want. Let's say we want to change the black. So we go in here, and we're going to make it a nice, uh, or let's, let's change the white. Let's change the white right here to maybe a nice orange. It's Halloween, so let's make it sort of Halloween colors. And now we have the pinwheel of black and orange here. And you know, we don't have to stick with one of these. We can turn the black into a light pink and make that very ugly to look at rotation. That's actually almost hypnotizing. But like I said, you can kind of just do whatever you want here and create your pinwheel. And then if you zoom in enough, you can actually move around the position of the rotation. So if we just go up back up to video effects and then in the position, we could, for example, put this on the very bottom. Then we just need to scale it up a little bit more so that it fits the edges here. And then now we have the rotation happening from the very bottom right here. This is a, like I said, a really, really simple effect to pull off, but something that's very fun to do. Just download the asset from the description below and you are easily able to create all of these fun little animations. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.